Hey everybody, this is going to be a very short uh, lecture for 481, Senior Design. As you can see, I only have two things listed for this week. Here's the agenda. This video, I'm just going to talk a little bit about what the expectations are for this week um, and explain why things are going to be so slim for the next few weeks. Um, yeah, why don't we get to what's going on with me first. And first and foremost, um, this week, uh, Wednesday, I got to drive to Chicago for a two and a half day meeting. Um, it's, it's a regional operations committee meeting and um, I'll be back Friday afternoon. Um, so one of the things I want you to do is contact me, email me, let me know when you can meet. And um, it would need to be either before Wednesday or um, Friday, I've got some other stuff going on. So I could meet maybe Saturday, but I think I have to announce a varsity softball game. So it's going to have to be either early or later. Um, but Sunday, I think, is wide open. Um, I just wanted to quick show you. This is, this is a Facebook page. But, I mean, these are like previous presidents for ASSP. And we had two of them speak to this class. Um, Diana... Um, and Brad, and uh, I mean, the rest probably would. I mean, Christine is the current president. Trish, she actually has helped me quite a bit. Jim has helped me. Kathy's helped me. Mike, I didn't get to know Mike as much. Tom Sesick, there's Diana, there's Rixio Medea. Um, and, oh, how did I not forget her name? She's super nice. That's the only one I can't remember off the top of my head. Shoot, I should have looked at this. Uh, is it... Uh... It's not Kathy. I should know it. She's super nice. She's got a background in nursing. But, I mean, I, I hope that you guys are finding time to kind of go through and, and read and see what opportunities there are out there because there are online or, or um, webinar type um, things. And just to start reaching out and start getting connected to the ASSP community, I think would be very beneficial for you. Um, so yeah, so is this last year's election? No, these are the people who are on the, on the docket, I think. So um, Jennifer McNeely is the CEO or president of ASSP. She's going to be speaking to my group on Thursday morning. Uh, I'm, I think I'm going to see Mary Beth on Wednesday night at the Greater Chicago uh, chapter meeting. We're trying to help them out. Um, I talked to Linda quite a bit. I actually, uh, Linda... Um, Recently, she was just she just was elected as senior vice president. So she'll go from senior vice president to president elect to president. So Jim moved up to uh, replace Christine, uh, or Christine is it Christine or Christina? I can't remember off the top of my head. Pam moves up from senior vice president, and Linda um, she just got elected. I called her as soon as I got this last week, say congratulations. Tom's a good guy. I replaced Tom in the, as the VP for Cora. Um, and I, I've worked with Stephanie before too. Um, let's see what else is going on here. So I'm in I'm the region I'm the region vice president for Region Five. I've got one more year, um, but we did get a new area director, and that's Rebecca Steverson. She's with Gilbane. Um, I've worked with Rebecca quite a bit with the Wisconsin chapter. Um, I think she's great. I kind of talked her into running a little bit. And she will do a great job. I called and talked to her, actually. As soon as I found out, she's in an airport. She still talked to me. So that was nice. Um, so that's what I have going on this week. Next week is the Wisconsin Safety Conference. Um, unfortunately, there's not a student discount. I've been pushing for it for a while. Uh, but this is going to start on Monday. So I have to go up, go up there on Monday afternoon, help set up a booth. I'm speaking twice on Tuesday. And then I will help take down the booth on Wednesday. So I think I'll be available Wednesday. So next week is going to be a, uh, a simple week too. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to supplement with some short interviews with some people that I run to, into at these conferences. Let's see, where am I speaking here? Tuesday. Where is the big guy? So, okay, so right here, I'm speaking from 10 to 11 on what's the deal with safety data which is essentially what I talk about in 483. Um, and then I speak later in the day as well with a friend of mine. Here it is at 2.30 with my friend Jill James. We're going to do soft skills. Soft skills be a better safety person. So we've been working on that. Um, 
yeah, so if you could go, if it was discounted, that'd be nice, but it uh, it can be expensive. So Wednesday, what does Wednesday go? Does it go all day? Oh, maybe I won't be home early on Wednesday. <laughs> I was hoping I would be. I, I thought we could take down like at one o'clock. Uh, maybe we can. It looks like they only go till three. So that's where I will be um, next week. Um, but over the weekend, I will record this and kind of give you an update. I also... Um, Let's see, what else did I want to say to you? Uh, I also, so um, things you're going to be doing, and then I'll get to back to what I was just talking about, is so for guest speakers for this week, I may actually do like a short video with some of the people I'll be with at the meeting this week in ASSP. Like maybe I'll pull Jennifer McNelly aside or some of the staff or maybe some of the people who are going to be at the meeting with me and um, just have a quick little talk with them and I may post that. Uh, but you wouldn't have to do anything with it. It's more for me. So for this week, this is your assignment. Nothing to read. Just uh, provide a summary of your binder progress. If you haven't thought about it since it was graded, this would be a good time to think about it and just kind of give you an update. Uh, I need to know when we can meet. Ideally, Sunday would be great, but <laughs> um, I could meet with you at different times, whether it's before Wednesday, maybe Saturday, but Sunday would be good. But you know, just email me and we'll figure it out. I could meet on Tuesday too. Tuesday, I'll be on campus most of the day. Uh, contact your assigned capstone intern because they, I think next week is when um, it's due at the end of next week, not this coming week. So um, please reach out to them. Make plans. Find out what their topic is, when they could get you a draft so you can review it and you know find out what they learned from uh, the grading on their last one and kind of just report report what the plans are, what you heard. And then um, you need to interview the mentor you selected for last week. And you come up with your own questions. So I want you to provide the script, the questions you asked, the answers you received, how the discussion went, and just sort of reflect on that and the other two interviews you had done. Um, did you, you know, did, are you learning from, that's what I wanna know. Are you learning? What are you getting out of these? It, it's gonna maybe dictate whether I change the assignment or drop the assignment. <laughs> Or increase it. Maybe I have students meet with a new mentor every couple weeks. I need to know how that project goes, okay? Let me know. Uh, other than that, when we talk this week, I want to know what you're planning to do for your second case study because that's coming up pretty quick. Uh, I think last week I reviewed some pretty good projects and gave some tips on what I'd want to see. And um, so we'll talk about that during the call. It'll only be like a 15-minute call. I'm just going to see how things are going, what your plan is, any, and discuss any concerns you may have. Because I know the, the lecture and the weeks have had less content than earlier in the semester, but that's by design, because I know you guys are busy. And I wanna make sure that you are still, you know, getting, you're progressing uh, towards what my early semester goals were, but you, I've been impressed with what you guys have been able to accomplish. And so I'm like, why push it? I'll give you guys a little bit of, uh, of a, of a release or a reduced load so you guys can focus on that stuff. So that's really what's going on is this week I'll be in Chicago at meetings. Next week um, I'll be at the Wisconsin Safety Conference. Uh, the Thursday after that there's an event on campus if anybody wants to go and I need to get the ad together, the flyer together tomorrow. And then that'll go through the Wisconsin ASSP chapter. So that's what's going on. Um, the last thing I would say is I hope that you guys are finding time to get onto LinkedIn, play around. Um, I just think it's really worth it, just a few minutes a day. And I, I go through and I read things, I like things, I share things. I do have people reaching out to me asking, look, there's Linda right there, um, asking me to post jobs or to recommend people, things like that. Linda, oh, two days ago she was really busy on here. I don't know why I'm seeing two day old stuff because I really haven't scrolled through as much as I'd want to on the weekend, but this is a good thing to do, you guys. Really build that network, start developing it. Um, post content, and it doesn't have to be yours. You can be sharing other people's content, but if you want to give people updates on what you're doing or any internships that you've um, worked, it's all good. It's all good stuff. Get your name out there, all that stuff. So, um, to close, oh, I shouldn't just show you that's my email. Um, this is it for this week. This is all we have to do. 
And so there'll be the video right here as soon as I process it. But um, reach out to me if you have questions. Of course, we're gonna set up a meeting, duh. But I'll try and provide some other interesting um, posts as I, both on LinkedIn and, on, and for you guys, just to let you know how things are going at both of those meetings. All right, talk to you soon.